everyone. My name is Sarah Johnson and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and part of the infant development team here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. I am also a CLC or a certified lactation counselor and I'm here today to talk to you about plagiocephaly. So plagiocephaly or flat head syndrome is a condition that occurs when an infant is laying in one position either regularly or for extended periods of time and subsequently develops a flat spot on their head. Plagiocephaly commonly comes with infants that have torticollis, which is a tightness on one side of the neck causing a tilt in one direction and a rotation in the other direction. And typically in infants with torticollis, why the flat spot happens is because of this neck restriction, the infant is always laying on one part of their head and that's what creates the flatness. Plagiocephaly can also occur for other reasons. It is more common in infants that were born prematurely as their skull is more soft and softer for longer periods of time due to that prematurity. And you can also see it more in infants that were in the NICU um, and were on their, their head in various positions. So what do you do if a medical professional tells you that your infant has a flat spot? We are gonna go over today what I recommend for my patients in regards to monitoring a flat spot, watching it at home, and when to seek some additional help from a qualified professional. So the first thing to do is when you're looking at a flat spot, there is one ca camera angle I recommend for all of my patients, and it's actually a bird's eye view of an infant's head. So the best thing to do if you have concerns about a flat spot or someone has mentioned a flat spot is to start taking pictures of your infant's head. I typically recommend after a bath because if your infant has hair, the water will slick down the hair and it will be easier to actually look at the head shape. But what you're gonna do when you're doing a bird's eye view is you are gonna be holding your infant like this. You want to make sure that in the camera you can see the tip of their nose. The tip of their nose is gonna act as a guide point for that their head is in a symmetrical position and you can truly look at the actual shape. So looking for the nose first, you're gonna to try to capture the nose in your photo and then you're gonna take your picture straight on. The reason we use this angle is because we can look at flattening all along the back side of the head and we can actually divide the head into four different quadrants, which is really important for plagiocephaly because oftentimes what happens with plagiocephaly is you have a flat spot on one corner and that causes, kind of with the balloon, the pressure to go elsewhere. So actually how we fix plagiocephaly is we work on counter pressure in the opposite direction that then rounds out the head. So really important when you're looking at flatness, the best angle is this bird's eye view. We can break it into quadrants. So if you're flattening on this side, oftentimes you're gonna see a little bit more volume on this side and in the back. Um, and this can give us a great way to track progress at home as well. So in infants that are less than four months of age, typically we can start with a repositioning program. And that's very similar to what I showed on the balloon. Uh, we work on putting a counter force on the opposite side to round out the head. If your infant is between four and six months, it really depends on their growth um, and if there's any other conditions such as torticollis on whether or not a repositioning program will work or not. Um, and typically around the six month age, we might start looking at cranial hemlighting, which sounds really scary, but it's really not scary and can be a really great option for infants that are a little bit older and are already mobile and rolling and getting different types of pressure on their head. Commonly, people will say that if you want to, to treat the plagiocephaly, what you need to work on is more tummy time. Tummy time is a fantastic position for your infant but it is not going to round out an infant's head or fix the plagiocephaly. Tummy time is gonna prevent it from getting worse, but in order to fix a flatness, you have to have a counter force in a different area to round out the head. If you have concerns that your infant might have plagiocephaly or a flat spot on their head, I highly encourage you reach out to your pediatrician for a referral for occupational or physical therapy for an in-depth evaluation of your infant's head shape. It's really important to work with an occupational or physical therapist to look at the whole body and what other factors could be contributing to the flat head. Your occupational or physical therapist can give you guidance on whether a repositioning program is appropriate or whether a referral to a cranial specialist might be more appropriate. If you have any questions regarding plagiocephaly, torticollis, or anything regarding your infant's development, please feel free to reach out and we'd be more than happy to answer your questions. 
Thanks so much.